Hello and welcome to my first Let's Play. I'm Solar Rocker. We're gonna try out some Kerbal Space Program. We're gonna start a new game in career mode because, well, it's more fun and challenging that way. Of course, I'm gonna put in my name and let's find out how many Kerbals will die while trying to get to the moon. Alright. Well, we don't have any signs yet, so we can't upgrade anything. But to get that, we actually need to create spacecrafts. And here we are. Let's start off... Not with a rocket. No, not with a solid booster. We're gonna start off with a very simple little spacecraft, so we can get that science right away. Because we need it to actually make something better. I'm gonna put on some extra parachutes because I want this thing to survive. Well, not the rocket, but more the Kerbal actually. Alright, looks simple enough. Oh wait, we actually do need some antenna to send the data back. And we need to change the staging because we don't want the parachutes to deploy right away. That would be just stupid. And I've been known to do many, many stupid things. Alright, let's see here. Alright, here we have a little spacecraft. We can see the fuel, we can see our little Kerbal. Hi, Jebediah. Let's see how you're doing. Report back to us. There's our first little science transmission going. As you can see, it actually uses electric charge. As you see, we have very little left but that's okay because we can actually blast off and you see that this engine produces electricity so we can actually send more and he has more to say because we just blasted off we're gonna try to go into the water this spacecraft won't go very far Ooh, it's moving very strangely though See if Jebediah has anything else to say. Nothing. Alright, we already ran out of fuel. But that's alright. We still have some electricity left. Don't go too far. And we're gonna deploy our parachutes. Let's see what Jebediah has to say now. Still nothing. Alright, we'll let him land. And then we'll see what he has to say. We want to really just go into the water. Because the... Rocket has less chance of exploding when it lands in water. If it lands on land, it needs a really soft landing for it not to explode. And right now I don't have the right parachutes, even though I have a lot of them. But once I get the parachutes you can just stick on the side, then that will help a whole lot. Alright, I might have set the audio a little bit weird in this one. All right, let's go. Come on. Land already. Let's speed it up. Well, six meters a second is pretty slow for a landing. We could have done this on land pretty easily. Let's turn these off so it can just land normally. All right. There we go. It landed. Aren't you happy? Well, let's see how happy you are. Yeah, pretty happy. We don't have enough to send. But let's recover this vehicle. Okay, we have science. We can actually do stuff now. Let's learn whatever this is. The basic of rocketry. Basically, we just put a guy in a metal hull with some fuel under it. But now we can actually make rockets. Alright. Let's see what we can make here, huh? We're gonna start all over. We're gonna go with some bigger fuel tanks. Do we wanna build big right away? Heck yeah, we do! We have some money. We have 24,000. Let's put on some fuel here. Okay, it's doing difficult. Then let's put it lower. Or actually, let's put it slightly higher. And most likely. There we go. I usually make sure that the outside 
fuel canisters are actually lower than the inner because that way it can actually stand on the rockets and be more stable at the launching all right let's put on some utilities well let's make it a two-stage rocket because this will be really heavy and I don't have the side panel parachutes yet so let's start with this okay we need a rocket a small fuel tank this thing uh, That won't be enough. We need to use this again. Unfortunately, we still need the goofy way of getting parachutes on this thing. Alright, let's see. Utility. Put it on. And we need a little bit of science on there too. Those are the gooey canisters. They will actually help us. Getting more science. Oh. Well, this will do. I don't have any wings yet, so I can't put wings on. I l usually like to put large fins on these. Alright, let's put the staging correctly, shall we? Uh, you should be lower. You should be there. Actually there. You should be there. Ooh, I want you to deploy it as soon as that thing goes. There. And those are the bottom rockets. Alright, so these fire first, then we have a decoupling, then that one fires, those parachutes go at the same time. And once the fuel is gone of this little one, actually let me turn that music down a little, shall we? Let's see, can I do that here? Not sure, let's see. And I change the music settings. It's uh, well for me. It's a bit loud. I'm not sure what it is for you. Let's see here. Let's turn off the ambience and turn off the music. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Resume. We have our rocket still here. Let's call it something, this time at least, the Doom Plunger. Plunger, not plunger. I'm horrible at typing apparently. Alright, let's launch this thing and see how far we can go. I'm not sure how far it will go, but I hope we can get still pretty far. First thing to check, anything to say? No. Alright, then I don't have to check you again. But, at ground level, this should give us some science. Alright, let's check that. Let's start off slowly and see if it works. Alright, we're going up. Let's increase the speed some. Activate the control so that it doesn't steer out of control. Now, you should have some more information for me. There we go. Very good. Anything you want to add? No. I don't know why I keep checking that really, but I just want to make sure that I don't make any mistakes and lose any data. Seeming it's so important to have. And I already forgot something again. I forgot to take out a contract. Contracts give me a lot more money and actually help me with boosting the science part, I believe. I haven't played career mode in a long time. I actually haven't played Kerbal Space Program in a pretty long time. But it's still a fun little game. The, the science is there. You get to build any wacky aircraft you want. Spacecraft, rocket. You can even build planes. And if you look down here you can see the runway. That runway you can send out planes to test. And planes actually the fuel lasts a lot longer. But you need atmosphere for planes, so yeah, that's a little bit harder to do. But as a return vehicle, that actually works very well. Plus you get to fly it all, all around the planet and see a lot of stuff. Let's see if he has anything more to say. No. 
Should we go higher first before doing you? Let's find out. Well, we can send it and then see how far Je uh, Jebediah goes up into space. If we can make it into space, which looks like we can. We're going pretty fast, I notice. How fast? Well, not fast enough. As you can see, we're going to go up all the way until the apex and then go down into the ocean. Well, we do want to go down into the ocean. I kind of want to try getting into orbit. So we're going to decouple and we're going to go sideways a little. In the meantime, anything more to report? Oh, yes, you do. We are actually in space. Wow. Second rocket and we're already 62 kilometers. That's pretty good. But can we make it into orbit? Most likely not. This thing has very little fuel and I need to actually veer off a little this way. Because I do not want to land on land. Come on. There. We should end up in the ocean. Barely. Oh, that was a close one. Else we might have actually fallen into those mountains. And you don't want that. Mountains, if you land on those, you're going to roll. And you're going to lose your Kerbal. And you do not want to lose the Kerbal. The Kerbal is uh, everything. See, that basically was the highest point. I can send it back one more time. I don't have enough charge. Ah! Oh, well. Let's turn these off. The RNT. And let's deploy the parachutes already, so as soon as we can, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up a little. And it should already position itself some. Ooh, we're in a... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Parachutes are deployed. We're going a bit faster, but we should slow down enough to land. How? Wow. Okay. I did not we're still gonna land on actual ground instead of the ocean oh there's the moon hello moon soon i'll come to you uh, when i do Ooh. gonna plant my flag into you i believe you can go ava but uh shall we plant a flag on earth well kerbal claim it for our own yeah, but soon we're gonna go to the moon. Oh, we've landed. No, we have not. Okay, we're still going. I usually watch this shadow. When it gets closer, I just turn this to slow again. Sometimes I found if you keep going this fast, somehow the engines explode when you touch down. If you do it. This way, I notice it never usually does that. Ooh, uh, uh. Okay. Not a bad landing. Anything more to report? Alright, let's keep the data. Go EVA. Ooh. Oh, I put an antenna on the hatch. Oh well, let's recover it. Alright. Well, I'm going to end it for now right here because this was also basically a test video. I hope you enjoyed my first let play and uh, hopefully I can make more. See you around. Bye bye.